Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. So today we're going to be talking about if Red Dead Online content will actually kill off GT Online content as we know it. And I'll also share some information about developers and studios who were previously working on other content being pulled together to work on Red Dead Redemption 2. If you guys are new around here, this is a series where I bring you all the latest news and information for Red Dead Redemption 2, so be sure to subscribe and also hit the bell so you don't miss out on any updates. Now just before I jump into this video, I want to show you guys a few screenshots that came from GTA Online News. It's a very big news um, Twitter feed that posts a lot of the news and updates that come into GTA Online. Now they recently announced that GTA 5 was the best selling physical game in the UK. Now for a game that's been out for 3 years, this is definitely very impressive to be up that high. They also tweeted out that GTA 5 was the 6th best selling game in the US in 2016. Now the reason for this is all thanks to GTA Online and all of the DLC packs that have been coming out and um, giving online content such as the most recent import and export DLC. Now it has been leaked that internally at Rockstar they're actually shifting over a lot of the team members who were developing content for GTA Online and they're now moving over to Red Dead Redemption 2 which is of course due out of fall this year. And this was just revealed by Yan2295 just a few days ago. If you guys aren't familiar, Yan's a very credible leaker who's shared a lot of information about future GT Online updates over the years. And, uh, you know, he's grown himself quite a Twitter following from giving very accurate information. So let's take a look at what he said about GT Online updates. So he said, according to what I heard, and I assume that's coming from his inside source at Rockstar Games, GT Online updates are going to slow down this year and then stop around the time Red Dead Redemption 2 will release. So let's just talk about that for a second. So we're going to get GT Online updates up until fall of this year, and then when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, all of their online updates are actually going to be focused around Red Dead Online. So this could be very good news if you're a big Red Dead fan. It sounds that we're going to have a lot of development time put into Red Dead updates, but also it could be a little bit bad if you are more of a GTA fan. You know, I think um, Red Dead Online is really going to push back the development for GTA 6 so if you know if you're really enjoying GTA Online then Red Dead Redemption it looks like it's going to really take over with a lot of these updates. And then Yan went on to say you would think that Rockstar would want to end GTA Online with something big but what if we already had that something big? Don't you think the import export DLC felt different and would have been a good way to end GTA Online updates? Well that's because if you go back around a year that's exactly what they wanted to do i.e. the import and export DLC was supposed to be the last update. Now I actually found that quite surprising, I'm actually personally quite expecting that we do get um, several more big GT Online updates, rather like the size of import export DLC over the next few months. And GT Online isn't dying or dead by any means, you know, GT Online is still generating a lot of money, it's still shooting GTA 5 to the top of the charts, and I will suspect that they would probably have a development team um, dedicated to GT Online content even after Red Dead Redemption has been released. In the next paragraph, Yan goes on to say they're out of ideas and resources at this point, so what happens when the devs are out of ideas and resources, but they're forced to make more updates, so they'll come out with smaller, less creative updates and maybe reusing content from previous updates and use them in a different way. Now I don't know if I'd believe that Rockstar are completely out of ideas and resources because you know there's still so much they could possibly do with GTA 5. You know there's so many sort of um, themes and DLC packs that even I could think of that would be absolutely awesome and could be a, a really big hit in that game. And I think if anything Red Dead Online will be a lot harder to come up with ideas um, for making DLC packs because obviously you have the restriction of that being set in the Wild West and you know there's a lot of um, guns or futuristic vehicles that you can't actually physically create in a Western game without completely um, screwing everything up. Yan also then expanded on what he meant by exactly saying out of resources and he went on to specifically talk about Rockstar North which is actually based in Edinburgh which is my personal hometown and talked about it being divided into four different parts right now. So some of them are working on Red Dead Redemption 2 with um, San Diego, some of them are working on the next GTA 6 um, or the next GTA game in general, I guess it's been unnamed at this point. There's also some people working on another game which I guess is something unannounced and that leaves just a few people to work on GT Online or one specific team to work on GT Online content. Now this definitely sounds likely because when you have so many people that were working on GT Online and they are being moved to other teams or other projects as the lifespan of GT Online dwindles, you know it's natural they're going to have less developers, less development time um, available um, for such big updates, you know. We're not going to see an update as big as heists ever come again in GT Online. I think that would be very, very unlikely. 
but I do think there's still a big enough team working on GT Online for there to be um, still um, big updates in GT Online this year for us to get excited about. And right at the end of his statement, Jan basically finishes it off by saying, so basically if nothing changes, and according to what I've heard, we should not expect any big updates for GT Online anymore, just some stuff to keep it alive and nothing more. So let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. Are you happy to hear there's been um, a much more development time and development focus onto Red Dead Online content? Or are you more of a GTA fan or going to be a bit sad um, to see a lot of your developers moving over to another game and having less content in Grand Theft Auto and I guess having to wait several more years for GTA 6 or um, the next GTA Online installment? So do let me know what you think in the comments and if you made it this far I'd really appreciate it if you could leave the video a like and also subscribe for more videos like this one. Have yourselves a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.